I got it here. Very unique ice tray that cools off your drink instantly. It doesn't have to be a small drink. It could be big drink as well. So let's put it to the test. Just like that, pour some regular cold water, I guess. Big enough to sit it right over the sink for my sink anyway. Kind of sideways over here. Hopefully it's not gonna be a problem. We'll find out. So it's all frozen. Flip it over. Okay. Oh wow. That's cool. Not that hard to take it off. Maybe from this side. Okay. So let's try it out without breaking it. Let's do a little top over here. Don't want to come off. And it cracked over here. That's not good. Oh, that's a fail. We might have to refreeze it. Hopefully it don't break on me too much. Oh no. It's a total fail. And it broke into many, many pieces. We're gonna try this again. I see the idea. It sounds like really fun. You see, if you put these two pieces together, you're going to have that Lea Riva flowing and pulling off the any kind of liquid really fast. Okay, day three with this gadget. Hopefully it will work this time. I do see one crack over here, but not as bad as the last time. So this time I'm gonna be very careful. I'm not gonna hit it or anything like that. Just kind of push it. And maybe I should just let it be and try to let it melt maybe even a little bit so that way it will come off a lot easier because if I start heating the ice will break so maybe I should just let it melt a little bit so that way it will slide off maybe the best thing to do let it sit for a little bit those cracks kind of froze up again and I feel like now that it's not stick to the bottom hopefully it will fall out a lot easier I think the biggest problem is over here with these things, they kind of really got stuck in there. I could just feel it's hanging on this side, but this side don't want to come off. Ah, no, it broke again. Well, let's see if we can salvage it anyways. There you go, finally. So then we're gonna flip it over. I think we can still salvage it and use it actually. First of all, we need to put the legs in like this and like this and let's try it, okay. Hopefully it will work. It's a fail a little bit, but oh well. I guess the hardest part is when you take it out, not to break it. Next, the idea of it, put a layer of glass over here or like set it up somewhere that is high and poor the liquid in and as you can see it's gonna flow like a river and uh, spill everywhere I thought it's supposed to work to where it's going to not spill out but as you can see none of it went into the glass what's happening here of course it's not gonna go in the glass it has to have some kind of spout over here so let me show it to you again this is just a kind of design flaw and it broke in half, so if it breaks in half, it's going to spill out a lot. So, I thought it was going to be a cool gadget, but as you can see, you don't have a spout here. So whenever you try to pour it over here, it's just not going to go in the glass that much. And even then, you see, most of the liquid is flowing to the side of the wall. So yeah, it is a cool looking gadget, but unfortunately, it does not work that well. It is a good idea. It's hard to take the ice out without breaking it. And it's another big flaw. It's just like kind of flowing down. And out of a whole jar over here, we only got it that much juice. Got it here, KitchenAid ice cream maker. Let's see what this thing is all about. There's a few attachments. Feels like they're plastic. And the most important thing, there's so many videos already how to use it, so let's try it out. First of all, as you can hear, there's a bunch of liquid inside of it. So what we'll have to do to start using it is uh, put it in the refrigerator. So it will take up a bunch of space in the freezer. So I guess when you plan to make ice cream, 
pop it in the refrigerator so in a few hours maybe like next day you can use it to make ice cream in just 20-30 minutes anyways let's see how it works so I got the easiest ice cream recipe I'll share it with you this is whole milk one cup one fourth of a milk boom one cup three fourth heavy uh, whipping cream Okay, mix it into here. Three-fourth cup of sugar. It's gonna be a lot of sugar, probably the whole thing. This recipe calls for a lot of sugar, but of course, it's a dessert, nothing healthy about it. Okay, that's insane. Teaspoon of salt and tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay, vanilla extract over here, boom. That's crazy, there's so much sugar in there. I guess that's how, that's one of the recipes out there. I'm not going to worry about mixing it too much. Just gonna get the, all that sugar floatable inside there because the KitchenAid will do that for us. So it is ice cool now. You hear it, there is no more liquid because it's all frozen up. Boom. And then use this to push it down this way. Then we're gonna put this thing in, and then this thing in, and then close it. Okay, that's it. Let's see if it'll fit it all. Oh yeah. Okay, put this back in, and plug this in. Okay, then we're gonna spin it for 30 minutes. Okay, let's turn it off. Lift this up. This is gonna fall off, might as well take it off. And it's been way more than 30 minutes and it's still not ice creamy that much. So unfortunately, my ice cream is still very, very uh, soft as you can see. So I'll have to put it into the freezer. Yeah, look at that. This is soup. It is tastes very like ice cream, but it is very soupy. But yeah, I'm gonna freeze it, let's see how this ice cream gonna turn out in the freezer since we mixed it up so well for like 40 minutes now. This thing's still cold, but it didn't freeze my ice cream. Okay, the next day we got the ice cream looking pretty good. Let's scoop a little bit. That camera overexposing. But wow, look at that ice cream. It's curving so good. Good recipe. Mmm, mmm. Maybe a little bit too much vanilla. So I would put less one here. An awesome recipe so you could perfect it really easily. Also probably would put a little bit less sugar. So another scoop over here. Look at that. Real ice cream. So that's good. So let me know in comments below. What do you think about this gadget? We still make pretty good ice cream, but we had to put it back in the refrigerator or freezer. So, I wonder if I could just mix it up in the regular KitchenAid with the regular mixer and just put it in a jar and just freeze it and the next day have pretty much the same thing and not waste as much space. But let me know in comments below what do you think. I still gonna keep that gadget. Maybe my kid one day will wanna make ice cream with that machine. I got it here, gas toaster. This is a very, very unique gadget. As you can see, there's a heat cover over here. Let me hold it so I can flip it over. You see it? So that way it will distribute the heat and all that heat will go up here. And you see how there is a round things on both sides. Uh, what you could do also is adjust that and make it thicker by just unspinning this thing side here. Or you can make it uh, skinnier depends what kind of bird you have so you can make it skinnier you see how skinny you can get so i'm probably gonna do this kind of slices a regular bird so we're gonna just make it tight over here so now it's ready to go the only problem is you have to have each one of these for each slice and also obviously you can use it on gas stove or grill let's start out on the grill first of all Okay, got my grill going and we're gonna put this just like that, see what happens. 
you see there's a slice of bread so if you want to have multiple breads at the same time I recommend you get a couple of those things or one at the time okay kind of cool thing you can pick it from the side over here and it's grilling maybe a little bit longer and it will be done okay let's check on it Ooh, looks pretty nice let's see how crusty it's going to be by the way again preheat the oven so you see how you can slide this out from this side no problem oh wow it's pretty crusty and then you can slide another one in if you wanted to and of course and of course we gotta do a taste test oh yeah look how well toasted i just put cream cheese on it yeah it's very nice if you don't want to toss it too much, just on it a little bit less. Also, if you preheat it, it will toss faster. It's pretty awesome. Delicious. Same thing you can do on the gas stove. Just turn the gas on and just lay it down like that. Beautiful. Okay, you guys can see it better if I turn off some of the light. You see soft bread and let's toast it up. Slide it in like that, you can even close it a little bit. Okay, and this is probably the best example. You see how it gets really, really hot on the bottom and distribute the heat from the walls over here and here. So it's gonna heat up the bird pretty quickly, especially with the gas stuff like that. Any kind of camping stuff that emits gas like that, you can use it on as long as it fits. Oh no, I think we're burning up the bird. So just grab a knife or whatever tones and take it out. Oops, we almost burned that one, but some people like it like that, right? So, yeah, it's still soft in the middle. With the grill, it dries out a little bit more on the inside. So I kind of like it doing it on a stove, gas stove, camping stove like that easily. And again, you can reload it, put it to the side or to the top, whatever. Just don't burn yourself, boom. If you think it's overheats a little bit, you can just adjust the flame, make it a little bit less. So that way it doesn't burn too fast. So anyway, pretty awesome off-grid, not electric toaster option out there. By the way, once it's hot, it's actually toast the bread really, really fast. I can't believe it, almost within 30 seconds. Got it here, another Kajik. Let's see what this is all about. I think this is a sandwich maker. There's a flat side. So that way it's going to stamp and also there's a whatever that is a mini one like a cutter or something i have no idea what this is for hopefully there's instructions okay first i'm gonna test the one that i know how to use different kind of jelly whatnot and you want to spread it right here everybody have different amount of jelly just make yourself happy and then whoops you put your bread on top of it like that right and then we're going to squish it. First, we're going to use the cutter. Okay, we're going to cut it first. You see how we cut it? And then we're going to pull all that stuff off. Just like that. Then we're going to seal it by just pressing it like this. Probably better to do it on a cutting board than a plate. Take this off, take this off, and boom, you have right here sealed bread. How cool is that? So whenever you bite over here, none of the jelly or peanut butter or whatever you put inside there, not going to come off. This is awesome, look how well it's done. Okay, let me break in half so you guys can see boom check this out almost like a pure joke okay probably best to do it on a cutting board again get yourself some jelly okay then we're gonna cut it there you go that's way better you see how we cut it and don't have to actually grab it with the fingers then we're gonna stamp it whoops don't stamp it too hard because with my weight these things 
kind of folded a little bit on me then take this out and take this out and again we have here beautiful bread and of course we got taste test let's see how it tastes inside of this kind of bread mmm very good so unique to eat it. a sandwich stamp like that oh wow this idea is to cut cheese to make it perfectly or the egg or such things so it doesn't have to be only sweet let's try that out we got here a piece of cheese cut that out yeah definitely high quality you can eat that whatnot then we have two pieces of bologna cut that out looks like we can only do one slice boom perfect maybe put that on your own bread or you can double it up like that no problem then we're gonna put our meat and cheese down here of course you can put ketchup and whatnot in there too I mean mayonnaise okay then we're gonna cut it cut it all the way till it comes off yeah that's a cutter there you go it comes off then we're gonna stamp it of course do it on the cutting board it's a lot easier and boom you have right here a sandwich I wonder if we can toast it after we uh, sealed it up let's put it on toaster see what happens okay let's see if it's gonna fall apart or melt too much okay we'll put it on two I love the toaster because that way you can see how well it's been toasted okay it popped out and guess what it toasted wow and it's sealed stayed sealed so you can make a bunch and toast it or non toast it depends the way you like it you see there's a hole in the bread the cheese actually melted a little bit love that it seals it really well so i got a new sealer over here that is also a cutter because every time i try to open a bag of chips or whatnot they sometimes say pour all the way down and i spill half of the chips so this one actually comes with the sealer and the cutter so that way your chips also don't go stale so i just put the batteries in so let's seal this bag i don't have any chips so we're just gonna seal this bag just for example especially the bigger ones so you press it and go like that and it's supposed to seal it yeah it did okay you probably want to go a little bit slower okay let's seal it this end does it work i think so boom ah maybe a little bit more over here maybe it's a different type of bag don't seal as well but let's try it anyway so yeah we're sealing it cool okay and check this out it's completely sealed nothing like original packaging seal but it's pretty sealed to where oxygen doesn't go inside there so let's work with this side let's say we need to open this bag up and how do you open it some people pop it and a bunch of chips fall out so what you want to do is grab this end this is a cutter end it says over here so lay it flat boom how easy was that and of course you can finish this off as well I think it's only cuts one way and boom you have a perfect cut over here you might have to help it out a little bit there you go check this out now you can take off your cheap candy whatnot this one's already pretty sealed but for example so then you grab this and then just say seal it grab it and pull it oh yeah I can feel the heat you see that and also you want to get this end as well boom so if you have something like chips look at that uh, not super stone but for the most part it did seal that stone to where you see it's actually ripping couple of places have missed 
so maybe a little bit longer but let's try to cut it again I think the best thing to do to fold it so that way we can reach in with the cutter and then go all the way down check this out boom cut it really easily okay and just go to the side like that how cool is that hopefully you guys can see you don't want to go too fast with the sealer one so you want to make sure it seals it all the way i'm gonna go one more time over here okay let's see yeah it sealed it everywhere again it might be not super stone but it will make your chips peanuts whatnot uh, much much uh, fresher and last longer because it will be sealed from the oxygen i know it's kind of cool cutter and the sealer 